Tiger King mania has taken over the world. You can't go anywhere on the internet without seeing a meme about Joe Exotic and Carol Baskin. The people and storylines of the Netflix documentary are so wild they almost don't seem real. I'm sure y'all got a story to tell. Welcome back to The Binger, you cool cats and kittens. We have to admit Tiger King would make one amazing, hilarious movie. But is there anyone in Hollywood who could play the Tiger King himself? We've got the perfect cast for a movie all about Joe Exotic, Doc Antle, Carol Baskin, and the rest of the big cat crew. My name's Joe Exotic and this is Sarge. Whether or not you think she had anything to do with the disappearance of her second husband, Carol Baskin is one interesting character. It didn't take long for the internet to immortalize her in memes. Carol is the founder of Big Cat Rescue, the nonprofit sanctuary in Florida. She is also Joe Exotic's sword enemy. Man, if he ever had an enemy in his life, it was Carol Baskin. The hatred these two have for each other is unprecedented. And nobody's gonna tell me any otherwise. Carol has made it her life's mission to end Joe Exotic and other private zoo owners. And she has seemingly endless amounts of money, thanks to her inheritance from her missing husband. It didn't take long for a fictionalized version of this story to pop up. Kate McKinnon has already been tapped to play Carol in an upcoming miniseries about Joe Exotic, and she is perfect. Kate can play any type of character. She played a rule-following eccentric character in Office Christmas Party and knocked it out of the park. We know that she'll bring the perfect level of weirdness to an already weird story. If this ever goes to the big screen, Kate is the obvious choice. Oh, hang on, I think in these dark times we need a little grace and a little beauty. All right, all right, all right. The people in Tiger King are all very Southern. Joe Exotic Zoo is in Oklahoma. Doc Annell's Zoo is in South Carolina, and even Carol's Sanctuary is in Florida. We're seeing a trend. Who better to give off some of that Southern charm than Matthew McConaughey? The internet has mostly agreed that he would be perfect for the zoo manager, John Ranke. Ranke, who always goes by his last name, worked for Joe Exotic for years. He is a double amputee who lost his legs in a freak ziplining accident. Ranky had a no-nonsense attitude and did not care for a whole lot of drama. That's odd for somebody working with Joe Exotic, but Ranky really did care about the cats. That much was clear. Matthew McConaughey has played characters that resemble Ranky in the past. Take a look at him in Dallas Buyers Club or True Detective. Matthew has always fully committed to his roles, and he'd be sure to do justice to Ranky. Maybe James Garretson doesn't have a sixth sense when it comes to picking friends. <laughs> See what we did? It's, um, it's the movie that, yeah. Haley Joel Osmond bears a striking resemblance to the business owner James Garretson. Haley is best known for his role as a kid in The Sixth Sense. He might not need to see ghosts to be in a Joe Exotic movie, but we think he could pull off the role of James. James was a business owner who also dabbled in some seedy affairs. He was an acquaintance of Joe Exotic, but he became a friend of Jeff Lowe's. And then he turned on both of them to save his own neck. He became an informant for the FBI and recorded his meetings with Jeff and Joe. He was a key player in Joe's arrest and trial. Who wouldn't love to see Haley ride off on his jet ski like James did in the final episode of The Tiger King? It would be epic. What has Haley been up to the past few years? He was in several episodes of Future Man and is currently filming Death of a Telemarketer. Tiger King fans are quick to admit that John Finley is sweet and charming. He really loved Joe, but he also didn't shy away from the dark side of his ex-husband. John was actually Joe's third husband. The documentary doesn't mention his first two, though. John was Joe's right-hand man for several years. Joe's music video, My First Love, was actually dedicated to John, despite being married twice before. Channing Tatum would be perfect for John. He's great at playing a sweet character, which he's pulled off in a bunch of romantic comedies. He's also good at both humorous roles and serious ones. He could play John no matter which direction a Tiger King movie went. Speaking of John, where is he now? He's living with his wife in Oklahoma and is working as a welder. He also got his teeth fixed, and he's been clean for six years. That's the happy ending we needed from the documentary. Almost as unbelievable as Joe Exotic is his mentor, Bhagavan Doc Antle. Doc has been in the big cat trade for a very long time. He held nothing back in the documentary, and he wasn't shy about his life. Doc revealed that he had multiple wives. One of his former wives spoke out about his methods. He likes to be called Bhagavan, which means Lord. 
He tells his wives what to wear and what to eat. He really believes that he is spiritually enlightened. Who else can pull off that level of self-confidence besides John C. Riley? The comedy actor has played so many larger-than-life characters. He's a pro at making unbelievable characters seem real. He'd do a great job bringing Doc to the big screen. Their voices even sound kind of similar. Recently, Doc Zoo was raided by authorities, but no arrest warrants have been served. He cooperated fully and will be curious to follow Doc and his wives in the future. Just when we thought Tiger King couldn't get any more twisted, we met Jeff Lowe. And things took a wild turn, no pun intended. Joe Exotic got tangled up with Jeff in an attempt to save his zoo and take on Carol in court. Jeff led him to believe that he had tons of money. Joe even signed over the entire zoo to Jeff. Jeff has a lot of confidence, and that is putting it nicely. According to the show, he's taken advantage of a lot of people, and he doesn't care who he hurts. He reminds us a lot of the Vulture from Brooklyn Nine-Nine, who is played by Dean Winters. Dean seems to play cocky characters all the time. He's got that persona down to an art. He also plays Mayhem in all state insurance commercials. And we have to say, Mayhem is exactly what happens when Jeff is around. We can't imagine anybody else as the partying playboy, but who would play his leading lady? Hazel Fisher looks just like Lauren Lowe. Hmm, she's a perfect choice. It takes a special person to try and film a reality show about Joe Exotic, and we wish that the show had happened. Unfortunately, all the footage was lost in a fire set by some arsonist. The whole thing was pretty fishy. Rick Kirkham was the director and producer for Joe Exotic's web series and reality show. He moved on site and filmed everything. Rick revealed some of the darkest secrets about Joe and the GW Zoo. He was one interesting dude. His grizzled voice and no-care attitude leads us to cast J.K. Simmons. He's got the voice and the demeanor down. Not quite my tempo. It's all good. No worries. Slap a black cowboy hat on him and he even kind of looks like Rick. J.K. has done a lot of voice acting on shows like Gravity Falls and American Dad, but he might be most recognizable for his time on Law & Order. Speaking of Rick, things didn't get better for him. He lost all of his hard work in the fire and had a nervous breakdown. And six months later, his home in Dallas burned down in another fire. Poor guy. If there's one thing that can be said about Joe Exotic, it's that he has a type. His husbands were young and traditionally attractive. He met Dylan Passage shortly after Travis Maldonado's unfortunate passing. Dylan is considerably younger than Joe. He was wooed by tigers and a limousine. He quickly married Joe and he has stood by him through his trial and imprisonment. They ran off to Florida to hide out together. It seems like Dylan is always wearing a baseball cap and a tank top in the documentary, and he gives off really strong Zac Efron vibes. Zac could pull off Dylan better than anybody. He could play serious and comedic roles. He's got the same level of charm as Dylan as well. Speaking of Dylan, he doesn't appear to be taking his husband's incarceration all that hard. He's living his best Florida life, partying on the beach with his buddies all the time. Doesn't that remind you of Zac Efron and Baywatch? We think seeing Zac dote over Joe Exotic might be his best role ever. It takes a brave man to marry someone whose husband went missing in fishy circumstances. But Harold Baskin thinks Carol hung the moon. These two lovebirds, or cats, are the power couple of the tiger world. Harold's innocent charm captivated Tiger King audiences. He serenaded Carol in the garden for crying out loud. And let's not forget the picture of him dressed in an animal print caveman outfit while Carol held a leash. That is one special couple. Harold took over a lot of the legal action and day-to-day -day running of the big cat rescue business. He certainly isn't scared of his wife's history. Harold is almost too good to be true for Carol. His over-the-top love wasn't just for show. Only Jeff Goldblum could pull off such a wide range in a character. He can be goofy and melodramatic while also playing a serious businessman who goes to court. Jeff Goldblum also has the level of eccentric charm that only a husband of Carol Baskin could have. Now, who could play the missing Don Lewis? Could Jeff Goldblum play both? Yeah, he could pull it off. Joe Exotic is one of those people that you aren't sure are entirely real. In fact, he was referred to as a mythical being multiple times in the documentary. Yeah, he's right up there with Santa Claus and unicorns, that's for sure. No matter what you think about his cats, Joe never ceased to amaze audiences. He recorded over-the-top country music videos, he never stopped talking about how much he hated Carol Baskin, and then he ran for president. 
At that point, we weren't sure what was real anymore. When his bid for president failed, he turned his sights on the governor's mansion. He managed to get 18% of the vote in Oklahoma. Joe signed over his life's work to Jeff Lowe and got entangled in a plan to take Carol out with a hit. We need someone special to play Joe Exotic, and we really need someone who can pull off a mullet. Enter David Spade. He's already played a mullet-wearing country character. From Joe Dirt to Joe Exotic, playing the Tiger King could be the role of his lifetime. He has a higher-pitched voice, which is perfect for Joe. And he is so funny. He brings crazy characters to life all the time. As for Joe, he's currently serving 22 years in prison on 19 charges. He has started a civil rights suit against Carol and some other people, and he's representing himself. There are plenty of opinions about who should play the Tiger King. Dax Shepard has said that he would love to play the role, and he would also be great. Jared Leto is another method actor who could pull it off. He was certainly interesting as the Joker, that's for sure. Who would you cast in the Tiger King movie? Do you agree with our choices? Let us know in the comments section down below. Thanks for watching The Binger. Like this video, share it with your friends, and don't forget to click subscribe, all you cool cats and kittens.